Welcome viewers back to the channel Train Harder and in today's video we are going to discuss about uh, basics of fitness and this is very helpful for the young kids, growing adults and like even for everybody to how to be work on their basics to get themselves fit to get them energized to motivate themselves throughout the basic basic steps so all this discussion we are going to have with one of the famous personality fitness expert tennis player rafael de la cruz so we are going to sharing some ideas and we are going to get some information from him and then we will share to you all right so be in the video stay till the last video and if you like the video don't forget to subscribe the button which is on your right all right going to discuss about like uh, two topics today which is belongs to the fitness and then we will see how you can take a benefit from us so the topic which we are going to cover so what is the topic first okay so most likely let's have the uh, importance of water importance of water so okay. how the water In our can daily be daily living daily life daily life how the yeah. water can be helpful for us exactly. and how we can uh, help a young guy and uh, young kids and the uh, adult those who are growing up now a busy schedule of life True. how they can take the benefit of it yes so share some of the ideas okay so let's have okay once we are like really taking water okay. most likely we will be able to avoid the hydration so first is dehydration so make sure uh make a regular intake of water so it, 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 should, it should be at the one time only or like it should be at the at a certain interval of course we can do like you know uh, certain intervals certain intervals make a note of that certain intervals you must take a water okay. not in one time and then yeah we can have it like eight glasses eight glasses so minimum eight glasses that the science say that's the acsm so, says so, but you need to intake a lot because as the day by day the part of the world is getting hotter and hotter so you need to just yeah just like the conscious yes. now you can see nice we are sitting in the such sunlight. nice weather <laughs> and still we are feeling thirsty of course yeah <laughs> so what else what else benefit can yeah. be so eight glasses to like three liters of water if you are really physically active okay so where's the gallon where's the gallon for us where's the gallon actually it's in the room oh. <laughs> actually the gallon has to be kept away <laughs> that's right all right so yeah uh so I mean, one uh, one of the question like most of 1. the kids 1.5 gallons to three liters right uh, minimum yes. 1.5 gallon to three liters of exactly. water uh young kids has to drink it every day yeah. no matters how many times you want to go to washroom but you have to regularly circulate your body properly yeah. all right yeah. yes sir i am correct yes sir yes sir. all right yes, sir. the next thing like most of the viewers and most of the young kids they are like not aware of so mostly you have seen like we are also facing day by day like chill children are wherever they saw the water when they are thirsty they are standing and drinking is it a good idea to drink them while standing or like this is this way uh, yeah as long uh, for me it's like as long you are drinking water mm -hmm. okay that's the best part of it but uh, the position wise so probably yeah, yeah position that's the thing position wise okay. only like our concern is because might be some kind of choke can be happen at that time True. so what the position we can uh, share with them um for me it's like yeah probably sitting so something yes so one good yeah. position is sitting and not do not do not intake water like at immediately one time you have to just always have a sip of water am i correct true, 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 true. Yeah. yeah so this is one of the important benefit as well yeah so what is a good time like waking up early in the morning is it a good time to drink water a lot also that's a very nice time yeah because so make a note so when you wake up early in the morning so drink lots of water on an empty stomach yes true all right because one thing another benefit with that if you mm -hmm. drink water during the morning all right it will help you also to have a very good digestion very good digestion yeah. so that it make sure uh, it help you to improve your digestion yeah all right so once we got hydrate second we got the, the digestion and that will help you to improve your throughout the whole day routine as well so, yeah Nice. All right. So, what else uh, we can tell them to our viewers so they can like uh, work on that? Yep. Okay. So, yeah. In addition, another benefit is most likely 
you know, our brain function and then mm -hmm. the heart function will be like normalized because it's like, you know, our body is consists of 70% of water. 70% of water. Make sure 70% of water has been uh, in our in a, in a body is already made up of 70% of water. So we exactly. need to uh, maximize the functioning of our brain and our uh, heart and our kidney and lungs to like perform internal in a, organs yes. yeah internal organs has to perform and purify is more proper quality of blood exactly. all right yes yeah. so that's uh, yeah, the best part of it so once we are really hydrated mm -hmm. then our body is like functioning very very well so this is the very good topic which we have covered today so we'll cover one more topic and uh, that's called a proper attire what do you okay. say when doing a certain when sport. you do certain kind of sports, sports activities sport. many of you have doing in some uh, like the clothes which are not suitable for the attire so we will discuss with uh, a coach let's see what his his views are on that and let then we'll come back to you yes okay so now the proper attire when it comes to you know performing sports definitely okay in a particular sports like ball games mm -hmm. we definitely require you know uh, a proper shoes proper shoes yes. yes proper shoes one point is proper shoe it should be like a quality of shoes which can be uh, proper size that all size is also important of right of course yes uh, fit to your fit no, to your uh, fit. fit exactly all right <laughs> next and then uh, uh, aside from that mm -hmm. you know nowadays the the materials of the clothing are really you know uh, let's say into advanced materials nowadays compared right. like 10 years ago 20 years ago mm -hmm. it's much much lighter and lighter right, so, yeah true yeah. true true so you can choose the one that you are really comfortable and then you can really you know move freely when, once you are doing a sport okay so make a note like uh, as you mentioned like your clothes should be comfortable to you as long as you can move freely in them it's not like too loose it's not like too okay, tight exactly. okay so make sure this is one of the very important point proper shoes and a comfortability of your attire yeah next yes, point exactly. okay and then uh, yeah of course you know, in addition to that okay mm -hmm. so for example if you're going to wear socks you know it's not like really comfortable you keep on scratching your feet okay. definitely you will have a blister true, which true. you don't like to have so it will hinder your performance during the sports any kind of sports basketball volleyball football cricket make sure that your socks or your clothes are like really, really comfortable am i right sir yeah 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 the, the proper thing is to avoid the injuries also you should have like proper socks uh, proper shoes and proper outfit so that you can have a proper kind of activity has been performed at the same time and you can perform your best while doing a certain kind of football a certain kind of uh, exercise on a particular time or a particular day yes. what else uh, we can uh, gu guide our viewers to the so, youngsters uh, those who are coming up in addition it's like probably uh, yeah with your equipment okay. okay so that's part of your let's say uh, sport activities uh, mm -hmm. performance so you have to you know at least prepare uh, for example if you are playing uh, uh, tennis all right you have your own racket and definitely you should have a spare racket okay with the same materials mm -hmm. okay so once you you know broke the, the string of that mm -hmm. definitely you have an extra to complete your performance for that uh, certain sports okay, okay, okay. So something like that you so have uh, as you mentioned spare. like make a point always keep a spare whether it's equipment or whether it's a uh, attire or whether it's a shoe always keep us exactly. extra pair of extra pair with you at the time of needed when either you can change after your activity or other you okay. can use on a proper time okay so it means you have to just keep a spare part of everything like which is necessary on the feet exactly. all right so it's the same as true with the clothes you know of course you should have true extra you know you sweat and then you have to change. then you have to change after exactly. your activity exactly. so that's exactly. that's called the hygiene part so we are discussing like bit of hygiene so that kids can be aware of right? true okay so you know, like uh, most of the concern are coming for, for major of the young kids like uh, how much time they should do the activity in a day or adults they, they say like we don't have time, our life is busy, we don't have a certain time, our yeah. office is from 8 to 8 evening. Yeah. So what kind of suggestion we, we guide them as a coach as a Okay in so terms of in terms of uh, to fitness? maintain just their fitness. Fitness, okay. Yeah. Fitness. Because okay. now you know the busy world, the life is so lethargic, they true, don't have true, time, true, kids true. are busy in school. Yeah. So when once they go back home they don't have time to do anything. Yeah. 
so we can give certain kinds of things so that at least they can do at their home or their surroundings so they can get benefit of it true okay so probably okay so according to world health organization i i would like to take that note okay uh, as i studied about uh, activities of a certain individual we can have minimum 20 minutes okay of your busy days okay okay for like stretching or like a brisk walk of 20 minutes that will help you know maintain your fitness and the maximum of like uh before when i was still a student mm -hmm. is like maximum two hours two hours yeah. so if you are a young kid so make sure two <laughs> hours and if you but, are like a working adult or like your your lifestyle is too busy with the work so yeah. please do find out yourself for a 20 minutes a minimum exactly All right. Then nowadays there's a new studies that came out that we can do maximum like two and a half hours. Two and a half yeah. hours. Is it is it good to do two and a half hours in a day? As I studied with the World Health Organization, yeah, they like added like another thirty minutes. Per another hour. thirty minutes so they added. So do follow the we are following the guidelines of WHO as well. Yeah, so exactly. they they added one hour the uh, another thirty minutes extra to your workout. So. If you are growing adults, if you are growing like 16, 17, 18, so do devote your time as long as you can be on the field. Especially those who are sports athletes. Who exactly, to sports athletes, those who want to uh, write your future yeah. in the terms of sports only, so they need to spend a lot on the field. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the very good suggestions by our expert. And next thing, sir, like uh, majority of exercises can be, can, can there be exercises that can be performed at home? Like for the parents oh, or for so the many, so. for the adults, yeah. so like many. what kind of exercise we can tell them so at least they can do like weekly three times or weekly four times okay. in a day wise. So let's say, uh, yeah, in a daily basis, okay, I can say we can have a, a, whole, a whole body workout. Whole body workout. Yeah, whole First is whole body workout. And then uh, I suggest, okay, that uh, we can have. Uh, from legs, okay. from legs, and then going to the small muscles like your arms, arms muscles. Okay. Then, uh, of course, you have to uh, get to the sequence of legs, uh, back, chest, shoulder, and then the arms. And then, most likely, you need to add abdominals. Abdominal, yeah, yeah, that's one of the important thing because abdominal is the reason which consists of your visceral fat, which yeah. comes very fast and it takes too long time to exactly. do so that you need to train every day 15 to 30 minutes in my couple of videos we are going to upload that as well just to how you train within a minimum exercises with a great and better results okay, okay. so abdominal as you mentioned like you have to uh, do your abdominal exercise almost every day every day yeah. all right yes, sir. yes so when it comes to body weight okay so when uh, when we are doing some weight training that will be another you know routine so. okay just to maintain your fitness, I would uh, yeah, suggest like a full body. And then if you are used to it, definitely you can do split. So one day one day, lower, one day, one day lower, one, one day, day upper. upper something like that. Yeah, so you can vary. So you can balance your body like one day upper body, then one, one day, day lower, lower, one day upper. Like that you can balance your workout. Exactly. Exactly. So uh, is it, will 30 minutes is going to help? Of course, of course, 30 minutes. As I told, uh, you know, uh, when the... World Health Organization, you know, mm -hmm. make a study about this minimum of 20 minutes, 2 and a half hours. Okay. Okay. If you are really feeling good, mm -hmm. why not? So, 30 minutes, 1 hour, that's it. Okay. But then if you are not really feeling good, okay, then you are feeling sick. Mm -hmm. Why you push yourself to physical activity? Your body is asking for rest also. Okay. So, you don't need to do it. Take rest, get well soon, and then once you recover, then do it again. You know, 20 minutes, maximum of 2 and a half hours. 30 minutes definitely will work and then one hour will work for you you know we are unique individual let's say oh, so right. what fits for you you can do what fits for this guy you can do this one okay so it, it's really you know uh, let's say there's no like this or this or this so you have to <laughs> balance for everything in simple words you have to balance for everything exactly. Exactly. Oh, yeah. so this is like a good help for our viewers to get to know about like some of the benefits of exercise some of the benefits of attire some of the benefits of drinking water but i, I really wanted to show you a gallon next time so at yeah. least the guy these guys can be see exactly while we are saying exactly. how much water they need to drink they are not used to but once exactly. we have a gallon capped over here they can be really <laughs> get a benefit of that. Yeah. Okay. so the one he is having like a such that, this yeah, much okay yeah this one liter right okay. the one that we normally buy with the store store so you can you know in a day you can take it safe of that mm -hmm. like two 
two bottles of that much big. Two uh, bottles of it means a gallon yeah. says he means it a one gallon almost like almost three liters of water. Yeah, so one point five. One point yeah. five liters somewhere. So most probably you need to drink a lot of water, lots of lots of water in a day. Yeah. So that's one of the very important thing which can help you to help you to metabolize your system for our internal organs to help you a lot. What else sir we can tell them in the next couple of years we are going to wind up now. Okay. So uh don't forget to subscribe to Mr. Anuj's yeah, channel. Yeah, so okay. this is one of the thing which you need to keep supporting <laughs> us. So whenever the things are benefited for you, which we are going to bring it up in your next video as well. So, I, I asked him to bring his gallon as well. So we are going to discuss that part as well. And then we will show you. Definitely. Yeah, then we will show you definitely like uh, <laughs> what we are, what he is drinking and what the secret of his uh, uh, energy too. Because he is a fitness too and he is a professionalist, tennis player as well. So thank you sir for joining You're with me awesome. and uh, yeah. hope our viewers will enjoy this video and they will get a benefit of it and I'll catch you in the next video again with some of the next activities too. You're most welcome. Thank you sir. Thank you for joining with me. Enjoy.